Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, guys, we've got some very specific coordinates, alhamdulillah. So, for those of our ulama, mashallah, who uh, certainly maybe those individuals who are part of the Moon Sighting Committee and other individuals who might be familiar with astronomy, um, I, 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 the only thing I can recommend now, um, short of giving you the coordinates, is that you look out uh, in the horizon for this. Uh, uh, for this celestial body which seems to be part of this binary binary system that's entered our solar system um, I, I, I'm going to just play, press play and um, uh, inshallah Allah SWT knows best there's Mars and there's Saturn I'm resting and I get my bearings here Oh, let me zoom out. There it is, and there's Venus. So, Venus diagonal over. Nibiru's going to show up over there. We go way up high. And Arcturus, that bright star, is right there. I don't know if I can get that to show up, because that's not as bright as the planets. There's, oh, yep, there's the star Arcturus. Alright, so, down from Arcturus, and down and right from Venus, about where the sun sets, is where Nibiru is going to be showing up any time now. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it to pop up. Okay, now it's down. Okay, now it's, it's on the other side of the orange light, but it's down, but I can see it's light. Okay, it's coming up right next to the orange light. Okay, it just went down. Okay, well, uh, uh, the reason why this is important, by the way, is this is the very same planet that being referred to as Nibiru. In scientific circles, it's being referred to as Planet X. It certainly seems to be the same planet during its orbit, retrograde orbit, um, uh, goes behind as in its orbit, okay, as it's going around in its orbit, and it seems to have a huge magnetic influence of its own, and it, it was probably the culprit that caused the uh, recent magnetic um, uh, shield collapse here on Earth, uh, uh, following which you, we had Obama sign an a, a executive order for um, um, uh, space weather, because the radiation is, uh, if our shield doesn't exist, uh, radiation, harmful radiation enters our atmosphere and causes all sorts of other problems. Uh, at any rate, why it's important is it's the same star that um, uh, been referred to by uh, Putin, President Putin recently he mentioned it in, I think, uh, there was an article in the Daily Star, I think, where President Putin had threatened to inform the world about this particular uh, uh, planet if uh, Obama hadn't. Okay, and um, I've uploaded that video and I've shared the links on the WhatsApp distribution list for science uh, uh, with everyone as well, and it's on the channel. Uh, also, following which, and this is a huge psyop that's unfolding, you can see it uh, working around this whole kind of Sumerian sky god from Babylonia and um, how they uh, 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 inhabit this particular planet, and uh, they were the ones who ruled over uh, uh, humanity in that particular region at that time. And then you've got the Iraqi transport minister who basically came along and mentioned, uh, uh, which was quite timely to be honest with you, how the, uh, once, whilst he was commissioning the opening of the first airport in that region, he said that space aliens created the first airport on Earth in Iraq. And then he, he mentioned uh, and threw in the name of Zachary Sitchin as a great historian who I, from the research I've done, uh, happens to be a... A Freemason, uh, and um, he's peddling that narrative for them. And um, uh, there seems to be this huge agenda uh, to um, uh, stage a false extraterrestrial contact. A lot of anomalies uh, have been happening. One of which uh, over the dome of the rock that was witnessed not so long ago and captured by six different cameras and different angles, maybe seven, even a security camera to suit from Israel. And again, that was used as a psyop on the Ummah to suggest that these were extraterrestrial beings and it's these extraterrestrial beings, these benevolent sentient being, beings that basically have, um, if anything, um, um, 
coerced humanity in their evolution, right, towards uh, the uh, um, uh, their spiritual and technological uh, 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 progress, and um, uh, they were the ones. I think that this is the, this is going to be the claim that they were the ones who created uh, all these uh, religions in different regions and inspired all these um, uh, telepathically all these messengers, and they were the ones who created. Adam and Mahawa Ali Salam, knows the Wilhelm Zalik from uh, uh, believing any of this nonsense, uh, but by hybridizing their uh, genome with the genome of the Homo erectus and research, a lot of, lot of, lot of in depth research has uh, brought me to this conclusion, along with other experiences and other stuff that's been happening throughout this journey. But um, I certainly feel, I mean, let's put all of that aside. You certainly want to pay attention to this because this particular celestial body doesn't belong in our solar system uh, and not just this one but many other ones that are being seen world over especially in the southern hemisphere but we're now seeing it in the northern as well which basically suggests that it's it's uh, it's merged completely with our solar system and um, at some point it's going to leave uh, in its trajectory out i'm going to just let, uh, play this again and please for any of you who know ulama uh, who are averse to the um stars and um, uh, uh, um, have a good grasp on astronomy uh, and those in the moon sighting committee just draw their attention to this subhanallah and I can only employ you I've, I, try, I have tried to archive as much information as I can uh, uh, through this journey on this particular phenomena and it's not um, uh, the kind of conspiracy stuff these are very 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 sensible individuals very intelligent individuals competent researchers or if not then they're basically qualified individuals in astrophysics uh, astronomy uh, uh, theor theoretical uh, astrophysics and uh, many other individuals who are quite high up in their own uh, particular fields so I mean please I, I can only urge you to start with the science PDF that document and uh, go through the content that's in that it's almost like uh, a, uh, a um, intermediate intermediary kind of um, uh, uh, um, introduction to the, this particular phenomena and then the updates that have been made onto the channel Al Uz, uh, which is AL triple uh, OZE uh, if you go to that channel and move through the content backwards uh, you'll, be, you'll certainly be up to date with what I understand and what I've kind of generated and um, archived on this channel is everything specific and, and specifically related to the science PDF and what's been laid out on that and the loss of Hanwha Ta'ala knows best. I'm going to press play. Please, guys, after you've seen this, try and share this, inshallah ta'ala. If there's any good to come of it, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the areas belong to me, myself and I, and shaitan la nukullahi alayhi. Uh, 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 please forgive me for uh, the audacity of even trying to um, 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 reach out in this manner. I, I, I'm, I, I'm totally um, uh, at my wit's end and I'm not sure how to do it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best inshallah ta'ala you know um, uh, um, I'm wrong anyway let's let's just press play and... it's playing peekaboo it's twinkling in the atmosphere Okay, can you get some magnification pictures of that when it pops up? Well, do you have your phone, or do you need my can my phone camera? Okay, it is down. Last spotted spot was to the right of the orange light. So. What's, that flickering, What's that flickering light over there? Okay. Right there. Yeah, I know. yeah, zoom in on that. Look at that. It's up. It's up, guys. We were watching it rise. It's up. It's up, guys. That was its rise. That was Nibiru rise. It is up. Oh, she is. It is in the sky, and it is brilliant. Look at that. Hey, we got a telescope on it. This is the same uh, uh, planet again mentioned in um, the exchange between John Podesta 
and uh, Senator John McCain in an email which has been documented on WikiLeaks and I've shared a link to that uh, uh, as well in, uh, uh, and I've done a, a, a upload on the channel to that effect as well and tried to draw the attention of our ulama to this. There's a lot of disinformation uh, uh, in the exchanges but there's also a lot of accurate stuff and this is how they basically do that where they will basically put forward at least for a certain demographic who have a certain maybe capability or a, a, a mastery over the subject uh, they'll basically then take them in a certain direction and at the very uh, uh, nth uh, degree they'll basically take them on a detour and the detour uh, in the crux of that particular email was most of it was very accurate until they basically uh, put out the card about extraterrestrials which is the deception I understand and a lot, a huge uh, uh, amount of uh, uh, individuals actually are buying into this and uh, the fear is that many of our brothers and sisters in Islam will also uh, uh, become victims of this if we don't basically address this matter soon and um, inform uh, uh, the, the Muslim Ummah of the possibility of them staging this and becoming muhtat of that and um, understanding that it's a deception in advance of that because it, it seems to be on the horizon very soon and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best next to me I don't know if we can get any shots or not meanwhile I am zooming in on my Canon HD and I got it on the tripod we are zoomed in on it let's take a look at that I can see it okay all right, it is up. The time is 8.21. It is up. Okay, so you've got the time. Uh, this was taken in the States, so I guess you can convert it into your own time zones. Uh, you've also got the um, uh, the um, coordinates of where to find it, uh, where to see it. And um, um, uh, yeah, but well, basically that's, that's it, I guess, the time and the coordinates of uh, where it is and where to find it and where to see it and where to spot it inshallah that took a long time that took a long time that was its rise okay it's fading fading faded out the time is 8:21. okay so now you got i guess the question that you'll have is why did it fade out okay what we what we have to understand is this is a star system, a binary, binary star system. So this star system, from the research that I've been doing, has a primary star. That primary star is a neutron stroke proton star. It's a very, very powerful star, a very strong star. And that star seems to be parked next to our sun because it shares a barycenter with our sun. Then there is another star which is part of this binary system, which is why I call it, and it's been called, a binary binary system simply because it's got two stars the other star seems to be a red dwarf star and I've done some uploads on that specifically being seen in Brazil and other locations especially somewhere in the UK as well um, and it seems to have a very dense ionized atmosphere and a huge dust cloud and comet debris around that particular star that's a brown dwarf star okay now um, it, these this binary system has two stars and then our sun is the, the star of our solar system. So let's say at the moment there seems to be three stars in our solar system, one of which is our sun. And in hierarchy, the primary star is basically at the top of the pecking order. Uh, uh, and this star, the primary star, and the loss of Hanukkah knows best, but my heart gravitates towards, uh, uh, and again, I seek forgiveness for the audacity, but my heart gravitates towards the Surah al -Najim and Surah Al-Thari concerning this particular star. That's the primary star which is next to our sun because it shares a barycenter. Then you've got a dwarf star which basically orbits its primary star. Okay, And that's the one that's been seen in Brazil and it's got a very reddish hue. Uh, the primary star has this blue kind of tinge around it, halo around it, and it's piercing bright. Uh, and it's it's stronger out of the three stars. Three being one, one being our sun which is in the center of it it's in terms of strength and power and then you've got the dwarf star which is the third in strength and power N then you've got two gas giants we understand one of which uh, uh, is uh, I understand uh, being thrown about uh, by the name of Nibiru 
Planet X and Planet Nine in astronomy, uh, astronomy circles. Okay, and that seems to have a very strong magnetic field as well, and that's the one that's been referred to in Zachariah, Zachariah Sitchin's works as well as what the Iraqi transport minister was alluding towards and what the Prime Minister, President Putin, was alluding towards and what John Podesta and uh, his uh, exchange uh, with uh, John McCain uh, was alluding towards that particular planet. Uh, and that's a planet I think is going to be used to um, stage this extraterrestrial contact. They'll claim that they're basically extraterrestrial beings who basically uh, um, uh, inhabit that particular planet and they're part of this binary system. Uh, there seems to be other uh, asteroids, uh, 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 comet debris, and uh, moons, satellites that follow these gas giants as well. One of the gas giants shares a very, very uh, um, close orbit to its primary star. In fact, uh, as I understand it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, it's 0.1 AU. That 1 AU is basically the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is around about 96 million miles. Uh, this one uh, has got 0.1 uh, uh, AU uh, proximity to its primary star and the primary star happens to be next to our Sun uh, right now so it's uh, this gas giant is orbiting its primary star and our Sun as well and every so often it eclipses our Sun along with this primary star as well and this is why we've seen these anomalies on the SDO uh, satellite uh, uh, NASA dish where it's picking this up and they've diverted attention by claiming that it's our moon and the Earth that was orbiting it and those were the official explanations they were given but I don't think they can stave that off for too long because we've got physicists now coming on board and giving a very detailed explanation as to why that's not the case and why it's different and I've uploaded that presentation on the channel as well for our ulama to consider and look at. Um, uh, 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 so uh, Allah SWT knows best but it seems like a very real system as I understand it when it's going to go out in its trajectory back out uh, to where it came from uh, after it's drained the energy uh, and the magnetic attraction that it has with our Sun at the moment which is why it shares a barry center with our Sun uh, uh, um, it will basically um, catapult back out into its trajectory and when it does that that's when we uh, could expect and all loss for hunter land knows best a lot of natural disasters back here on earth and I understand that the powers that be intend to stage um, uh, World War three uh, the uh, economic collapse as well as a, uh, a, a false uh, extraterrestrial contact during this time and why uh, they've chosen to do so is that they want to create a uh, uh, um, huge amount of um, uh, suffering and uh, um, uh, psychological trauma uh, on humanity uh, so that when they do basically um, try to um, uh, stage this extraterrestrial contact which is going to play a huge part in terms of um, um, uh, disconnecting the Ummah uh, from the Khalik Malik Razik uh, and um, uh, um, uh, it, and this applies to all the three major religions uh, you know this is a very satanic um, uh, um, uh, agenda uh, it seems at the heart of it and uh, all these great um, uh, huge um, um, influential um, um, families uh, uh, and um, um, movers and shakers in the world I'm referring to billionaires and uh, trillionaires now uh, that includes uh, the family of the Rothschilds uh, the Rockefellers and other uh, influential um, individuals who are uh, basically at the center of these occult um, beliefs uh, systems uh, whether that be the Rosicrucians whether that would be um, what uh, I guess is conventionally known as the Illuminati, uh, whether that would be the um, uh, the, uh, the the higher ups in free, uh, Freemasonry uh, or the uh, um, um, the Council of Three Hundred or the Thirteen Families, and then it goes up to royalty, right? Uh, well, these individuals have very occult beliefs. And uh, uh, it seems they're the ones who are cahooting with Shaitan, Lanutullahi Alayhi, Iblis Lanutullahi Alayhi, to do this very real sayat on the Ummah during this time. And from what I understand, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, even then there's a Hegelian dialectic that's about to play out. I think this particular planet uh, 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 being touted is going to have beings that are very like the conventional um, small 
um, um, uh, uh, aliens that we see shown everywhere uh, uh, with these big eyes and huge heads and small bodies, but also taller beings which are very lizard-like uh, 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 with scaly skin. Uh, it seems like these two particular, uh, and, and again, as far as I understand, these are, I know it's a lot to take in, but uh, as I understand it, they're uh, cloning these and um, uh, they're hybrids and they've created these particular kind of um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, creatures, right? And um, uh, there'll be, uh, uh, and the little understanding I've got is. Um, this uh, Napak jinn are going to basically um, inhabit these vessels, these bodies, right, and function inside them, you know, uh, so it's almost like a possession of a vessel, right, a physical form, which has been basically been cloned in laboratories. This technology really does exist, and the, 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 the sort of progress they've made in that, it's absolutely, um, um, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you and protect us from what's going on. But I mean, I understand that those are the sort of beings, and again, they're going to use holographic technology. We've discussed that, and I've uh, shared a lot of uploads concerning that, and the sort of advances and the progress they've made. This isn't to create any sort of like um, uh, a panic or awe uh, for those who are part of the battle. It's only just to make us muhtad, so that when this does happen, uh, and uh, what we see before us is something that defies um, uh, physical laws, and um, uh, uh, defies everything that we understand to be um, uh, normal and it's supernatural and then uh, we will basically have a better understanding of what forces are behind this and how they're doing this and at least we'll be in a better position inshallah to stave off any uh, uh, attacks on our beliefs on our iman on our faith and um uh, uh, I think there's going to be this Hegelian dialectic again because they mentioned in the exchange that there's a war taking place in space so the war has to be between two factions right and I understand that um, this particular uh, binary system is going to be the antithesis so the evil kind of um, uh, aspect to it and then there's going to be another uh, uh, system which I think is going to be the Pleiades, Pleiades or the popularly known as the Seven Sisters or the uh, Sirius star system, where they will claim uh, that the Jalla and Allah will come from, and uh, uh, and basically cl uh, um, um, claim to have saved humanity from uh, this other uh, terrestrial race, which had um, um, uh, bad intentions uh, towards humanity, and um, uh, had evil intentions for humanity wanted to enslave humanity and these uh, these uh, uh, terrestrial beings, these benevolent beings that came from the Pleiades or the Sirius star system uh, are in fact here to liberate us and, uh, uh, um, and now uh, they feel humanity is ready for uh, uh, their, uh, their, this false evolution that they're referring to and that they've evolved enough spiritually and technologically to know their truths and the truth is that they created us, they are our gods, and uh, uh, that the Jal is the creator, uh, uh, the deceiver, the antichrist, and that um, he's the saviour of mankind, as it were, and uh, staved off this attack from these other terrestrial beings on humanity, and um, uh, then introduced this pure Luciferian doctrine, which is about the dualistic nature of man, and uh, merging and blurring the lines and of distinction between the feminine and the masculine, and uh, then tapping into your uh, pineal gland, which is at the top of your 33rd vertebrae in terms of masonry, and um, which is that um, a dot in the middle of forehead for Hinduism, which is the same dot referred to in Buddhism through uh, medi meditation, and uh, which is the same um, uh, belief that. Um, the Jews have, the occult Jews have in the tree of life uh, 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 and um, uh, many other uh, spiritual religions have this whereas in Islam we're taught that um, we focus on our heart and uh, the uh, light of our heart, the ruh which is basically and the, 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 uh, uh, our soul which uh, the center of which is our heart subhanAllah and that we view and see uh, through the eyes of our heart whereas for them 
it's basically um, the apotheosis of man and this is seems to be the doctrine uh, that I understand that the Jal will bring to the Ummah during uh, this um, uh, uh, during this um, uh, these events as they unfold and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best again genuinely I'm not um, it may seem like something very creatively put together uh, 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 but genuinely this has come from real research and um, all I can ask is you attempt the, the PDF if it does um, sway you in any way whatsoever and you see some sort of leverage in it then uh, 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 then follow the updates on the channel uh, and um, uh, then uh, and research it. Uh, certainly don't accept it as uh, the um, uh, the truth. Uh, uh, I, I don't intend to do that. You know, Subhanallah. It's just genuinely I'm being compelled to share this, and it's um, you know I'm, I'm not going to say I've been plagued with, but um, I've had numerous dreams, Subhanallah, and um, I've been following uh, my intuition uh, uh, from the influence of those dreams, and I, I've yet to come across a situation where it's not brought me to some sort of um, 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 uh, evidences that corroborate what already has been put together in that science PDF. That science PDF was uploaded uh, early Ramadan and that again it was through a dream to be honest with you where I was very specifically um, uh, asked to share it publicly, uh, told to share it in, in, through the dream and um, uh, sadly I only shared it with a ulama because uh, I was reluctant again because I didn't want any fingers to be pointed at me that I was uh, short of a few marbles um, uh, and um, but what's happened is a kind of uh, as time has gone on you know uh, what's been laid out in that document subhanallah has been corroborated with all sorts of um, evidence that's been surfacing since and um, uh, I, I just genuinely think that it needs to be looked at at least maybe there's some aspect of it that's uh, correct maybe most of it isn't but at least there's something good to be gained from it uh, uh, and um, I can only uh, request our ulama to take a look at it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instills it in your heart, you know, then subhanallah, uh, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and um, I, I may be entirely wrong, you know, and um, whatever is has been decreed will uh, will happen uh, either way. So, Jazakallah khairan wa asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.